Hi, good afternoon and welcome to a new chapter of my collection, Behind the Steps of. Uh, this time I'm introducing the monastery of Euste, the place where um, Charles V, the Spanish emperor, decided to retire after his abdication as emperor. I hope you will enjoy it. See you! All. Sorry for the state of the lens of my camera. I found no one to replace it in here in, in Aldershot or in the UK. Therefore, we will have to deal with. I start my exposition now. Then the two first hermits, those who had the idea of building a monastery in the 15th century, were Pedro Bañez and Domingo Castellanos. They lived in San Christopher's Hermitage in Placencia before finding the place to build a new monastery. This new place was San Saviour of the Mountain, which is between the towns of Cuaco de Yuste and Garganta de la Hoya. On the 24th August 1402, a very religious person called Sancho Martin donated the land that you can see now and where the monastery of Yuste sets up. At the beginning, the monastery was just a chapel and two cells, but as the congregation grew up, a popal authorization became necessary. This popal authorization was obtained in 1407 and a proper Augustinian monastery was built dedicated to San Jerome. Um, San Jerome. In 1417, the Bishop of Placencia, called Gonzalo de Zuniga, granted ownership to the congregation over its monastery and also over the donations they, um, the congregation will receive in the future. That is very important. That means the money and the um, objects they will uh, be offered, they can keep them. During the 15th century, the monastery and its architecture developed and we know 14 cells were added as hospice dormitories and a refectory as well as areas reserved for shoemaking and uh, manual works. Uh, they were like a manufactured place, also they also had time for intellectual activities as we will see later on some chronicle authors were able to write in the, um, in the monastery. The precept of hard work to obtain what they wanted or to reach God was scrupulously followed by the justice order. The monastery still grew up during the 16th century and new constructions uh, started in 1509 to end in 1525. The monastery became the most important in La Vera area, accepting donations from patrons as Lord Oropesa and his family, the King Henry IV of Spain, Charles V himself and his son Philip II, other people like Gómez de Toledo, who was the Bishop of Palencia and he was buried there in 1521 with his mother, the Countess of Pasaron, who was another uh, Spanish high dignity. Il, since 1544, Charles V retired to this already famous monastery hospice. In fact, he commissioned one of his advisors called Luis de Avila y Zúñiga to find a good place for him to retire. Because Luis de Avila and Zúñiga, uh, hometown is uh, Palencia, not far from Justi, he heard already about the outstanding monastery hospice. After, of course, administration dispositions and seeking for acceptance, the emperor sent the architect brother Juan de Ortega to start the works of his apartments under the finances of Juan Vázquez de Molina. 
According to Justus Chronicle at the time, brother Luis de Santa Maria, Gregorio Robles Toledo was the uh, brickwork project manager. The Emperor Charles V arrived from Brussels in Ladero, which is a town in Santander, on the 28th September 1556, after abdicating in favour of his son Philip II on the 12th September 1556. Before arriving to Juste, he stopped at the following places, Valladolid, Medina del Campo and Barco de Ávila. He arrived at Juste two months later on the 12th November 1556, and his apartments were not finished yet. He had to wait three more months while living in Count Oropesa's castle for the buildings to be uh, ready. Juste is currently the only royal residence in the area of Extremadura after the demolition of the royal monastery of Guadalupe. And this Juste monastery became the model of Philip II royal residence uh, called El Escorial. I hope you did like the video. If you like modern and renaissance history, please subscribe as I will be posting some more. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye!